much welcome back to the channel now if you haven't make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out pretty much every 48 hours at this point we're putting out content to help you with your skills training business so don't stay stuck make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date and if you want to get in contact with me to ask me any questions about your business then there's two ways to do that you can visit my Calendly link in the description where you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call we jump on zoom i can ask you some questions about your your, your business about what you're currently doing and i can show you some actionable steps to get to the next level if you don't want to do that you just want to send me a question with anything you may have then you can do that as well just send me the email to make money coaching sports and i'll get back to you within 24 hours so today i want to talk about how to handle parents who are question, questioning your your coaching. Now, I had a call with a coach not long ago. This was a couple of days ago. And one of the questions he asked me was, how, how do I handle a parent who is, who is questioning how I coach my client? Right, now this is, this is really common. And when I go out to, to the field and I'm watching sessions, either with coaches working one-on-one -on -one with, with players or in a small group environment, a lot of the times what I see is I see parents either standing right next to the coach while he's doing his session, or I see parents a little bit further away, but shouting stuff while the training session is going on. Okay, Now, both ways for me personally, um i don't appreciate okay and i don't like because if a, a a parent is willing to spend money and invest money into you as the trainer then in, in my mind i'm thinking right that that parent must trust you but the fact that they are standing there the fact that they're they're talking during your session and I've, I've seen a lot of the time where parents are actually coaching during a training session is a sign that they don't trust what you do. Okay. Now, again, a parent can pay you 50, 100, 200, $250 uh, per session, but that doesn't mean that they trust you. Okay. What we have to do is we have to program parents to behave in a certain way that allows you to work and also allows you to get the results you want with the players that you're training. Most parents aren't used to being told what to do. Most parents aren't used to, to, to having boundaries with, with their child. Okay, Because what you have to remember is as a parent, they're used to being the leader of their household. Okay, so they're used to telling their kids what they need to do. Now, when they, they when they bring you to they bring their child to your session, right? That role as a parent has to completely change, and it starts off by you setting right your terms and conditions for your training. Okay, if you're not setting terms and conditions, if you're not implementing rules then ultimately you're going to come across parents who are going to be very difficult to work with. And during your training sessions, you're going to get moments where they're going to be talking over you, where they're going to be coaching from the side, where they're going to arrive late, where they're going to cancel for no reason. Okay, And it's just going to be a really horrible experience and your business isn't going to be able to get to the next level because you're working with those type of clients. Right? Most coaches don't take the time to to learn the the business side of training okay most coaches all they want to do is they want to just develop their training skills with 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 the mentality that if my training becomes better then i'm going to attract better clients but the truth is it all starts with your terms and conditions it all starts with having parents on contracts it all starts with having rules, building structure within your program. And it all starts with you being a being professional and also being the leader of your business. 
Because if you demonstrate that you, you are the expert, you are the specialist, you are the leader, then you will never have a parent question your coaching. You will never have a parent talking over you during a training session. You will never have a parent who arrives late and doesn't apologize for arriving late. Okay, so you as the trainer have to have to set the example. You have to set the terms and conditions. And the way I did it, because when I first started working one on one with with players, okay, I came across this problem because ultimately when I was starting my skills training business, I was bringing on loads of different players and loads of different clients and ultimately what was happening was I was bringing on the wrong type of client okay I was bringing on parents who essentially didn't want to to be told what to do bringing on parents who you know didn't respect me as a trainer and just bringing on parents who ultimately weren't a good fit for what what I was doing so what I needed to do is I need to I needed to set the the boundaries i needed to set the, the conditions and i needed to make myself known as the leader so that parents don't coach over me so parents don't break the rules and so parents don't essentially do whatever they want to do in my in my business and the best way i did that was having everyone on a contract okay and in that contract Parents have to sign that they agree to your terms and conditions. Players have to sign that they agree to your terms and conditions. And when they do that, okay, you can give them a, a warning. Okay, so what I did essentially is once I said to myself, right, I can't have this anymore. I can't have parents talking over me. I can't have parents, you know, just staying on the side and, and coaching I transitioned the business to, to the point where any new client that was coming in, any new parent that I was working with, they had to sign my agreement that they agreed to my terms and, terms and conditions, right? And before they made any payment to me for my training, that contract needed to be in place, okay, because it protected me in the event that these type of things happened. And I remember there was, there was one moment where I had to release a client from... from from my program because of this reason right he kept coaching over me he kept telling telling his child what to do during my training sessions and i gave him two chances right the first one was a warning and what we did is i sat down with with the parent i explained this these are this is how i work this is how i train players this is our methodology this is what how we have been getting results with client with players already Okay, and these are the terms and conditions that you agreed to when you first joined uh, the program. Okay, and one of the terms and conditions is that you you aren't coaching over me during a training session. You can be present, you can observe, you can watch, but when the training session is happening, you you must not coach over me or talk to or distract the player that I'm working with. Okay, so I gave the parent one warning and unfortunately it happened again and I, and I immediately released him from the program. Okay, I gave him a refund. Some clients, right, and some coaches, they don't offer a refund, which is fair enough. But in this case, I wanted just to get rid of the client. So whatever was left of the contract, because that parent had paid up front, whatever was left, I agreed that that I was going going to refund them, okay, and I was going to to cancel their contract, and they will be they were going to be released from from the program, okay. There was a lot of backwards and forward with that parent, but at the end of the day, right, I had to stick to what I believed in. I had to stick to my philosophy, and I had to set the standards in in my business, okay. And when when that when that happened, okay, yes. It hurt me because essentially I was losing a client. But what I started to notice is that when I had terms and conditions, when I had standards, when I had rules in place, the clients that, that, that I was working with, I got more confident at talking to, to parents about my rules, about my terms and conditions, about my, 
you know, my expectations for them. So, and also, parents started to respect me a lot more, okay? Not every parent likes that approach, but that's okay, because if a parent doesn't like that approach, you know, there's there's a hundred of other trainers that they can go and do whatever they want with, right? They don't necessarily have to be with me, okay? I want to work with parents who are committed. I want to work with parents who respect my work because I've put a lot of effort and energy to become the trainer I, I am. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I went to university. I've done coaching courses. I invested a lot of money into my training and education, to be where I'm at now with my business. So you want someone that respects your work, respects your experience, and respects essentially your your rules and your and your terms and conditions. Okay. So to avoid this, okay, make sure all the parents are aware when when they come into you, make sure you have a contract in place that parents sign and that they read through what is expected of both player and parent and that, and you know what happens if those uh, rules are broken okay so hopefully this helps if you have any questions with regards to to contracts or setting rules terms and conditions how to handle um difficult difficult clients difficult parents get in contact with me i'd love to connect with you Hey, two ways to do that. Visit the Zoom, uh, my Zoom link in the description, right? Click on my Candly link. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute Zoom call. We'll jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions where you are right now. Essentially, it's a discovery call. Okay, and I can show you some actionable steps to get to where you want to be. Or if you just want to send me a question, you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.